Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing, and today we're going to look at how to install Windows 10 onto your Mac. So we're going to have them running side by side, so you can boot into your Mac OS in High Sierra or boot into Windows 10. Let's look at how to do it right now. So here we are on the Mac. We've got a Windows 10 ISO here on my desktop. Now you will need this Windows 10 ISO before we can actually commence because we are going to be using this to install Windows 10. So you can purchase this online from Microsoft directly or from other sources, but you'll need a Windows 10 bootable ISO. You can also make the ISO from a DVD that you may have purchased of Windows 10. Make sure that that ISO is bootable and working, all right? So once we've got that Windows 10, we're going to go into Boot Camp. So into the Spotlight search and look up Boot Camp Assistant. Now what Boot Camp Assistant will let you do is it lets you actually install Windows 10 onto a partition on your computer, like a hard drive partition, so that when you boot up your Mac, you can actually boot into Mac OS, High Sierra, or you can boot up into Windows 10. So you can have an option of either of the two by holding down the option key on your keyboard when you when your Mac boots, you know, when you hear the, wind, the, the chime at the start, you can boot into Windows or boot into Mac quite easily. So from here, Bootcamp Assistant, we're gonna click on Continue. And now you'll see it's automatically found my ISO because I've indicated this before. But on your desktop here, I've got my ISO. So you want to go ahead and select and navigate to your ISO. Make sure that it's listed here under ISO images. And then the next area is to create the new partition. So you've got to make sure you have sufficient capacity on your Mac uh, so you can actually partition your hard drive and install your Windows installation. So by default, the smallest will have to be 48, but you'll see I can literally just grab this and move it up and down to give it more capacity. You wanna keep in mind that when you install Windows, if you're gonna be using it uh, to run a whole bunch of applications, and if you wanna use it for, you know, for photos and for other things, you may wanna partition that hard drive with a little bit more capacity if you so choose to, um, because once you do have that partition created, it will be more difficult to give it more space. So it's best to allocate the appropriate amount of space right now. For now, we're just going to leave it as the default, which is 48 gigabytes, okay? So it's going to create a, uh, leave the Mac OS, it's going to reformat that or, or re resize that, whether I should say, and then create a new partition, 48 gig for my Windows installation. I can now click on install. It's going to, well, it's giving me a warning here because I don't have it connected to the power supply, but I'm using a, a laptop, but that's not a problem. I'm going to continue for now. And now it's going to start to go and download the support software. So this is going to the Microsoft Windows website and downloading the software and the drivers and everything that you will need so that your Windows installation will recognize your Mac. Because obviously your Mac has different hardware and different, um, I guess, bits and pieces inside. So by making sure that you download the drivers and the appropriate software for your Mac, to load Windows is uh, the best thing to do. So we're gonna leave this. It may take a few minutes to download from the internet. It all depends on the speed of your internet connection, but let's check back right after this is finished. So after it's downloaded your Windows software and your drivers, it'll start to partition that hard drive and essentially re-shrink your existing partition for your Mac OS and then create the new partition for your Windows installation and you can go from there. Once the partition is finished, it'll then copy some Windows files to the necessary directory so you can start to install. You'll see that it's now saving the Windows support software. and it will now ask you to make some changes. So because I've got a Touch ID on my Mac, I could put that in, or you'll be prompted to put in your password, all right? So put in your password or your fingerprint, it'll then... So after the disk has been formatted and the software has been copied over to allow you to do the install, your Mac will restart automatically, and if everything has worked correctly, you'll now be presented with the Windows setup screen in order to now install and configure Windows 10. So you want to go and set up your language 
and your time currency, etc. Or you can leave it as the default if you need to. And then we click on the next button. You want to accept your license terms if you do choose to do that. And then the installation of Windows will now commence. So it's going to copy the Windows files. It's then going to go and get the system ready, install some features and updates, and then finish up. So now put in your username and put in a secure password. Once the initial configuration is complete, your Windows will log in and you're now presented with the Bootcamp installer. So this is going to install all the necessary software and drivers for your Mac that we previously downloaded from the Microsoft website. And that way it will make your Mac completely compatible with Windows. So just follow those prompts and install your Windows Bootcamp drivers and software. So it may ask you if you want to install some device software. If you do so choose to do that, you can click on install. This makes it easier. So you see that all the drivers are now being installed. And then once this is finished, uh, you'll need to give your computer a restart. And that's essentially complete. We're now going to restart the Mac and you want to hold down the option key on your keyboard. So here we are loaded back into the Mac and you'll see that now we have two hard drives. We've got Macintosh HD and Bootcamp. Your Macintosh HD is where your Mac OS Sierra lives and Bootcamp is now where your Windows 10 installation lives. So you'll have two in here. And as we said, we by default, you will have your Windows 10 booted by default. You can change that quite easily by going into System Preferences. I've got it down here, or you can go into your Apple System Preferences, and then looking for Startup Disk, which is the second one down on the very far right. And in here, you'll have two options. You've got Boot Camp and Macintosh HD. You want to unlock your Mac. Right, you're going to go and change it to Macintosh HD so that now every time your Mac restarts, it's going to boot into Mac OS High Sierra. If you want it to boot up to Windows, just leave it as default on Windows. You can easily change that by every time you start up the Mac or you restart the Mac, hold down that option key on your keyboard, and then you'll be presented with the options of Windows 10 or Mac OS High Sierra. So that is my summary. I would love it if you commented below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And commenting also does help me grow this channel. And you can also see a whole bunch of my other videos if you did find this video helpful. And uh, we will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.